Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create accuracy assessment pointers which are relevant for post classification process. Therefore, this is my land use map. Click here for the extent to view in full. Therefore, in order to perform this create uh, creating accuracy assessment pointers, therefore click here toolbox. Under this toolbox, there are a number of tools available, which are 19 in number. Among us to these tools, I have to open this special analysis tools. Here it is. Double click it, open it, or using plus sign, you can open these tools. Under this special analysis tools, there are a number of Tool sets among us, this there, uh, there is segmentation classification tool sets. Then open this tool set here using plus sign, open it. There are a number of tools under this tool set. Uh, there is a uh, classifier, raster, compute, confusion matrix, compute, segment attributes, great accuracy assessment points, seg segment mean shift, and uh, there are also others. Therefore, click this and open this Create Accuracy Assessment Points tool. To open it, double click. Now, as you can see, this tool is already opened. It opened. Opened. Therefore, uh, I need to add this input, uh, input raster or feature class data. Therefore, to do in order to uh, do this, there are two options. You can either click this black uh, down order arrow and uh, double click double click this one to add or you can drag this land use feature class data here drag here and drop as you can see target field is optional accuracy uh, assessment point is output that is F, uh, a folder this is to mean give a name for your output accuracy assessment points and uh, saving folder therefore in order to do that click this icon folder icon select your folder saving folder and give a name here run points run points random points yeah actually click save here now as you can see it's already give a folder and a name here a name and a folder now target field is classified there are two options, ground truth and uh, classified. The classified uh, is, if you select classified, it's to mean select this option if you want to have the tools assign a class to each point based on an underlying classified image or feature class. This is the default. Whereas if you choose ground truth, if you want this is if you want uh, to manually identify the class associated with each point using high resolution imagery you can select this ground truth target field numbers of random points the default are 500 you can increase or decrease this number for me i can i want to decrease to 300 there are sampling strategies around there are three the first one is stratified random Equal is, the second one is equal, equalized stratified random and the third one is random the first one stratified random create points that are randomly distributed within each class where each class has the, a number of points proportional to its relative area this is the default and uh, the second one equalized stratified random uh, creates points that are randomly distributed within each class where each class has the same numbers of power in this the third one random uh, this is this creates points that are randomly distributed throughout the image as you can see yeah after you finished uh, filling this tool in such a way finally you click here okay now as you can see the module is running and performing accuracy creating accuracy assessment tools as you can see 150 one, uh, no 300 uh, points 
Twisty Assessment points have been created, as you can see. You can view. You can see these are random Twisty Assessment points. You can also open attribute tables here. This is classified, as you can see. Ground truth, the default zero values have has been given. As you can see zero. There are three land use types. Two, one, three. One stands for. As you can see, open this one. One stands for bushland and uh, two for cultivated and three for grassland. But here, in order to create random, create assessment, in order to create uh, classification assessment points, you need to add a value section here. Or else it may not uh, create those random points. Therefore, add field and first of all give a value a name for this field and give a name in such a way then finally perform this great accuracy assessment points these are points actually now you can open open attribute table as you can see point the first point is classifier uh, one for bushland these are bushlanders for two these are cultivated lands. Three, these are for grasslands. You can also, this is for cultivated land. You can dissolve using this field into the same groups, same class using the dissolve uh, tool, like toolbox. Mm -hmm. Then finally, you can create in such a way. Thank you very much for today. On the next, I will show you how to perform accuracy assessment using ArcMap, ArcGIS. Thank you very much. This is all about for today, and have a great.